Okay, who knows? Who knows? Either way, if they have beef with each other and I ever make it up there, I'm gonna fucking help resolve this shit. It's probably just, um... If I can. Beef that they made up in their minds that they had to distance themselves from this person because they make them feel a certain way because of how they usually talk. Talk, act, etc. No, exactly. I kind of get it. I kind of get it. It's part of the reason why um, I don't I think get... that's what went on with the human key. No, no. She was being generous with all her viewers. Oh, yeah, like you said, that was a pretty big loss for her. No. She doesn't mind it at all. Okay? It was just one of those things where she wanted to drop by, she wanted to say, hey but not really, she just wanted to be like, yeah. And, um, yeah, and then the chatters were asking me if I knew a person named Q Cinderella, and I was like, no, and they're like, that's who's rating you right now. I'm like, wait, somebody's... That was a big moment of naivety and dumbness, and I am pretty funny. I'm streaming on a streamer platform where only the top streamers are like the rich get richer and then the, the not you get continue to not be it's 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 a rough situation but basically if I was smart about the situation and I was trying to take advantage of the situation I just simply only watch like I I spend most of my time just watching people but like I only do that in certain situations where I just need to chill. And most times, as soon as that chill time's over, I jump right back into like 24 hour streams of video game. And most of the time I want to watch somebody at two. I like watching you in person. But yeah, no, since uh, I, I just see it as is like that's part of the reason why I stopped watching offline TV as much. They haven't posted a recent video though, but I uh, or I just don't know. May, I might not be seeing it on my notifications. By the way, um, that's why I kind of neglect. Yeah, I will say uh, I don't get any of the notifications, even though I rang the bell and made sure it was black. Oh, it happens. We just keep subscribing to people, and it kind of fucks up. Usually, accounts don't subscribe that much. Oh, nope. I would guess. You're right, you're right. But, um, either way, given that she rated me, it's like one of those situations where it's like, I told her she's my favorite streamer on one, like, on the one of her video comments, and I also left the, the comment like, I'm backed up on content for over a month, and I'm binge-watching your content now. <laughs> but, uh, I'm here now, I know I'm a month late, and I know I'm... Uh, and I, I let her know that she was my favorite streamer. Um, I'm not gonna let her know why unless she asks, but I mean, in case you're wondering, the reason why is because out of all the streamers, she makes events that connects people of all the groups. Then, on top of that, she's not afraid of exerting her religion and and just like embracing it and letting people know she's not scared to stand up for her friends and be the one that has to tell the person to leave the fucking party because they're being a bitch and stealing shit. Okay. She, and there's a whole fact that she was being graceful enough to not say anything in my chat but come by with a thousand viewers. And then on top of that, all her content is edited and I. I feel like she should continue the series because the series has some clips here and there for sensitive parts, but overall it's pretty unedited and I think it, it, it does her good because she doesn't have to stress as much about it. She can just focus on having a good time with her friend. Yeah, I like but, that too. I would stream like that for Bird Dog too. With, with all of these situations we already have and I just have edited videos. Once I edit videos, you're going to slowly start seeing everything come together a little bit more. But by the time that happens, people are going to be like, literally, <laughs> they'll be like, Oh, Sun and Jay are celebrating their fourth anniversary. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're on our fucking 17th. <laughs> so yeah, no, like they're going to be lagging behind us, but it's fine. Oh man, our, 
That's not weird. It feels like the anniversary celebration is kind of like, I, it's not like, I don't know how to say it. I'm not trying to get mad at you. <laughs> don't, just say it. Just say it. I won't think well, about it. It just feels like I do less for you on anniversaries each year. Something. You're with me each year. And with every passing year, it's more than anybody else has done. So in a way, you're doing yeah, right. more every year. You're doing more every single year for the anniversary. Just because you spent the last year and all the previous years with me, and you're still going. Somehow. So. Okay. I'm glad you still do. But I'm glad that you are downing yourself, like you're dogging on yourself about not doing much on it because it shows me, it shows me that you want, you want to do something. You're just busy. You have to pay for all the bills. You're busy. You do enough for me. When I'm depressed and bummed out, it's because I'm depressed and bummed, bummed, bummed out, and I'm no stranger to lying and lying to myself, and bringing myself to a self-deprecation level of sadness. So, I'm sad, it just gets like that. All of it's kappa, though. None of it really matters, and none of it really is true. It's just me being bummed out. Once I'm past it, it's like, I can do, I can do plenty, okay? Don't worry. It's okay. I just remember the Minecraft picture back in the day, Jelly. No fun that was. That was really fun, but look, there's all kinds of things you can do for the anniversary, and we can make it different each year. Oh, yeah. I and remember last year's anniversary. Do you want to do? Want to do? You remember what it was? It remind me. It was. We went to Dairy Island, and I got a blue and purple ice cream. Well, shit, have we really been here for two years? <laughs> Things does not feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like we just got here, still. I don't remember what the one the year before that was. It might have been the same thing. Bro, it literally still feels, in my mental memory right now, like literally just one month ago, almost maybe like two that weeks ago, time. that we were drag hauling a fucking, I can't remember what it was, but we were hauling, was case. Yeah. We were hauling something across Newer. Just to get to the library just to, game? No, just to get our... We were bringing something from our old place that your parents provided for us, right? Oh. To here. And we were hauling it all the way over here. And then we got your brother's help. And then we weren't panicked about hauling all the stuff. And then we were finally moved in and we're like, yeah. I don't so, remember. Either way, bro. Holy shit. It's like it happened, I want to say yesterday, but I would remember yesterday a little bit better, I would hope. Yeah, for me, it's different. Like, I get other scenarios that are like that, but for <sighs> that scenario, for me, <sighs> damn, it feels like it was 10 years ago, like, as long as school was. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm going to have to go. I'm really fucking tired. It's 522, and I should be asleep well before now, but... Also, did you know... Y'all are great. Also, I want to see if this person who stopped by chat is somebody who stopped by beforehand. Out of curiosity. So that might be their first message, or... Yep, that was their first message. Boom. It was created July 3rd, the last year. Oh, so they've only been on Twitch for, like, about a year. That's cool. And they found me? How exciting! Ooh, I wish I would have done this whole figuring out who the person was right when they popped by, because that would have been really nice for us. Yeah, they would have liked that. It's just hard for me to put a pause on my moment, but I mean, I'm sure they would have liked that if they were like a constant viewing viewer, because then they could get wrapped up in a big old moment and then have the enjoyment that they know about the moment that new viewers that just popped in don't have enough context for it. And then it feels like they have like feels this. like you're an insider. Yeah. Yeah. And that's part of the reason why I like doing it. And then the cool part is Night Fox has that whole kind of situation working for him. 
I mean, there's a lot of viewers that came and gone, but I think, honestly, I feel like Night to Fox might just be the viewer that actually wants to stick around. I'm sure, though, maybe the other viewers have stuck around and just kind of been so busy they can't really... That could be. Say much. Because, honestly, get this. You know, um, Prentice, uh... Bumpton or something. No, I don't know. They invited me to a uh, Facebook group for streamers to advertise on. Oh, I remember that. Right. Well, that person and me had a falling out. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I can barely remember it though. I can't That's even probably. remember their name, Twitch name. Either way, the point is. We had a falling out, but get this, that whole moment that they invited me to, you, you know how you said you remember that? That was over two years ago. Why? Well, I, I remember that. Yeah. I didn't realize it was two years ago. I looked on my messages and I saw that message and it was like two years ago. I was like, about Victorians, right? And then I was like, holy shit. No, I'm talking about a different one, but... It was the Discord one? No, it was on the same Facebook group. It was just different. Either way, don't worry about it. Point is, enough time passed by. I wanted to revisit, and I just was like, "Dang, this was two years ago." Well, shit. I hope you're having a good life, having a good life, and you're doing all right. And then I put a heart with bandages on it. And uh, yeah, it's just because it's like, bro, ugh, the only person who even remotely deserves enough energy from me to have that much ignoredness was my family member, being my mom, my sister. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe your sister, maybe not them. No, and that's only because I cared so much about them and I knew I wasn't ready to re-engage with them. And I knew that deep down, but on the outside, I was telling everybody and telling myself that I just didn't like them. It was the copium. It was long term copium. You probably did that with your parents for a while just because you might. Just because you might be scared about your actions that you might have with him if you did let him in. And then you don't want to do that again. When I think about watching movies with Cole, I kind of get shrugish and sluggish about it and I don't want to do it. And the reason why is not because he hasn't offered, not because I don't think I could do it, it's just because I feel like I'll make him shush me again and I don't want to put that pain on him. And that's probably similar to what the situation is, is with your relationship with him, towards him. Plus also there was some of that funky shit that happened. That's what I was right. There's some funky stuff that happened too. Yeah, that's what I was right. Funky like 70s funky, not like funky like that underwear smells funky. My 70s <laughs> funky means like... I see what you're talking But then funky underwear is like... So I'm like, yeah, it's, a, it's like a kind of funky situation, you know? That's really it's, funny. It's, it's different. <laughs> the words have changed over time, I swear. That's really funny. People get lazy and they don't want to make up a new word, so they just fucking take an old word. Take an old word. Repurpose it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, either, way. It too. either way, though, <laughs> I, I feel like, honestly, the way I see it is I reconnected with my family because I knew that I should. And it was the right thing to do. And being your best self may take a minute and may take a long minute and maybe super impenetrably hard. However, eventually you will get there. And part of being your best self means having a good connection with your family. Provided. Provided that's in the terms of your best self. Because like for instance, say your best fan say all your families are killers and um, they tried killing you and now you're walking away. That's a lot of shit, and I would never expect the person to go back to their family at all to try and mend things. However, I will say though, I feel like honestly something they could do that could give them some closure is maybe opening up communications with their family, give their family some pointless hope that you're going to come back, so then they can like be all like, killy killy. 
but then just send them videos of you. Trying to be there for them and talk to them. And maybe that could give that person some copium. That way they don't have to go and get killed by their family. But they can still kind of communicate in a very one-sided manner. So I'm not gonna lie. Watching these streamers make videos makes it feel like they're close to me or they're my friend. Despite that not even being close to the situation. And I feel like the same could be accomplished with family members who you cannot get near. But that would be a way of connecting yourself to your family regardless, with very little injury to yourself. Because if your mom's locked away in the insane asylum and you can't ever get close to her without talking to her and you can't tolerate what she has to say, you can at least, no, I'm saying in, the, in a what if situation, you can at least send her videos that she can go crazy with. Yeah. And it's just you talking and she does the whole crazy insanity moment with the video, watching the video, but you're not there to see her crazy insanity moment. So she has privacy while she's having herself to that crazy moment while watching her kid like her kid's there. So yeah. And that's... Some of the reason why it kind of made me depressed and very disagreeable when I can't get my family members to watch some of my videos, but... You also have to remember that, um, older people uh, like now. aren't likely to click on links because... I'm not worried about it. When they're not going out, and links were the scary way of getting your information. Babe, I'm not worried about it anymore. But I was just explaining why I was worried about it at one point. Also, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's some paper. Okay, it looks like a really hairy, stemmy boy. And I really wanted yeah. to smoke. And that was the yeah, that's, cardboard. that's like the fourth time yeah, today that I really wanted to smoke. But it's like day two. Ha, <laughs> Zell. Zell tweets. You remember from the one riot show? I remember Riot Zell. Yeah, Riot Zell. Well, guess what? He was like, day six. I still fucking want caffeine. <laughs> He's trying to break this ha bad habit with caffeine because he knows it's bad for him and he doesn't know why he keeps drinking it. And it's just like... Caffeine gets me <laughs> Nobody wants to be a dick. Shun. Or shun. They don't want to be shun. We just want to be addicted. <laughs> addicted what? Addicted Dunlop. <laughs> Open condom style. <laughs> I don't fucking remember the word, Open but that's... Open condom style? Open condom style. Oh. <laughs> no. Somebody liked oh my, my comment. Uh, at 50, yeah, it was on her uh, cookbooks video yeah. for Cutie Cinderella, and, I, and they liked my comment, and they're like, I was like, seeing all those cookbooks makes me think if, about if it is possible to react to a movie where the food in question is shown, and then trying to craft that same food IRL before the movie finishes. I feel like that would be a fun baking challenge. It was all fun! Yeah. It's like, for instance, like she has a Disney book, Disney cookbook, about uh, the magical, uh, and like magical, like apple that made Sleeping Beauty go to sleep. No, oh, I don't think that's. And really it's like good. a caramel apple. Yeah. Thing. Well, like I'm saying, is like, what if you start watching the movie and it's up to the point that you see the apple presented? You need to like have your apples done, <laughs> and you can only start when you see the witch start. <laughs> so it'd be like she starts picking the apples. You better start making some caramel, and you better have it done before she gives the Sleeping Beauty the apple. Oh my gosh! It'd can you be so fun. How much caramel you would get everywhere. <laughs> it'd be so much fun. Oh my it'd god! Fucking dumb. It'd be so much fun. Or like uh, the wedding wedding day movies, 
remember, you know those movies where they're like a fun like heartfelt movie that's a romance and like they yeah, go they get they get, they they get know what you're talking about. oh you'd be appalled I'm vast enough to know what you're talking about you'd be so appalled with how much I've seen so many you'd be really? appalled at the amount yes wow. I'm I, I love romance I love romance and fill the void Really <laughs> so, like, literally, though, um, you could do it in a sense where, okay, you have to make a cake. Of course, you can do the whole prep thing that Kitty likes doing. Okay, prepping the layers of the cake, and then you just do the frosting part. Oh, but yeah. then you can do the frosting part, and you have to get all done. <laughs> we could make a small wedding cake. Like, it could be a wedding. Oh, no, you could do a cup that you could do. Uh, change the recipe to uh, be a rough estimate of like a little bit it's about the same time so if like it was a wedding Layer cake cupcakes? no if it was a, like a wedding cake you would just literally make a cupcake inspired off of their wedding cake you know what they should do that like, way they should could buy be cupcakes and slice them up and make layered cupcakes I don't think that would be nice. But yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, like, literally speaking, though, like, it would be so fucking worth of a situation just to see the fun, the fun panic of the woman being like, oh, I'm stressed. Oh, my God, it's hot. And, like, that would be so fun. We should try it sometime. Yeah, we should. We just find a movie that's about cooking. Also, or has cooking in cakes it. Cakes are, like, really cheap. They're like a dollar for a whole cake. If you buy the ingredients. Well, yeah. And I'm saying it's like literally speaking, it doesn't even have to be cakes. It could be literally anything. It just has to have, the movie has to have food in it. And we have to be able to cook that food before the food is presented. Well, before the movie ends. Before the movie is ends. Because cooking does take a lot of time. But still, no, I think it would be really, really fun, though. Like, I like the idea of cooking it before it's presented, though. That sounds great. You're, like, done with it, and then the movie presents it, and you're like, Oh, you're not done with it? <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, I failed. And I have to watch this whole movie knowing I failed. <laughs> I have to eat the victor's food while they're satisfactingly like, numbing the food. Meanwhile, you're eating oh, garlic cake batter. Mm, no. Totally the same. No, <laughs> uh, I'd probably, I don't know, that'd be food waste, I would have to bake it the rest of the night. That would be food waste. But yeah. <laughs> no, but like, you could do all kinds of things. Say it's a typical, like, little, uh, suburban movie. Uh, they have suburban movies. It's not a proper genre for it, obviously. But it's more, if you get a suburban movie, it, it, it takes place in the suburban area. And it's usually a family like movie. And usually somewhere in the suburban movie. Oh, kind of like Family Guy, but not as humorous. Live action, usually. Yeah, yeah. But basically, they kind of share similar senses, but it would be like a typical suburban movie would be like suburban movie shows kids, focuses on parents, focuses on parents, focuses on the relationship, focuses on kids, goes back to the dad, the dad has a cool event planned, oh my god, he has all of everybody come back into his backyard, somebody comes into the backyard and now he's having a grill out. And then uh, some drama happens, some more drama happens, and then drama concludes, and then everybody's happy again. And then if you need some filler arcs, you just like add some kid drama in there, and then you're good. But yeah, no, like that's a typical suburbia movie. It takes a place in a huge neighborhood that has side-by-side -side houses and like that whole like road that curves and stuff or it just simply just has rows of almost identical houses basically well i wouldn't say identical i'd say like they have their differences about them and they may paint their houses differently things have changed since the back then when i was a kid though a typical suburbia movie would be like all the houses look exactly the same it's just because you could film at one house but then make duplicates of that house with editing and then just make it look like a huge suburbia place. 
Plus, also when I was a kid, there were suburbias popping up all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. I still remember them being constructed. And My mom and dad were going to make one because they had 60 acres of land. But I convinced them, thank gosh, to either use it for a farm or just keep the trees there. So instead of doing that, they went with their original idea for the land, which was making it into a park. And I thought that was cool. And then they also rented a small section. I'm glad that they they took your advice on that because literally speaking they though, they need to sell it because I think they don't need to be putting houses on this beautiful land. And we've got a nice building on there, and like literally, I know that they want to create badly, but at what cost are you creating? And in that situation, the cost would be they're destroying life just to make life better for it something is bad else. Enough that they let people run from Neighbors let you go. So, like the neighbors said, okay, hunt, and then they were well, just like, uh, I guess before lunch. they moved there, the neighbors already hunted. So, the people were going there to hunt already because there was nobody that owned it. So, so this is an awkward there, situation where they can't really say anything. Yeah, they're like, well, we might as well let people hunt. Let's have our friends there. That way, they can get these nonsense people out. So, they did that, and they got lost. <laughs> The friends still hunt? The friends still hunt, yeah. Ed and Matt, they hunt a little bit. I honestly think people don't need to hunt anymore, considering all the food is provided for us still. It is very well provided. But I I don't know. I do think you need to keep your roots somewhat intact. You need to know how to do it. You don't need to do it. You, definitely you need to know how to do it. do it. Just look it up online. Right? Yeah. If it really came to that situation, research. But honestly, nothing's going to be able to delete that out of people's brains. They're not going to just forget how to provide for themselves. No, seriously. If you're hungry and you know you can eat, I guess, I guess a little bit. I mean, you're not going to eat the grass that you can eat. Nah, but like, even cavemen. If a caveman got really hungry, they would literally walk. One of the other male cavemen, and eat. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fair enough. I guess that's just the same as what we do here. Pretty much. Yeah. If it's not the same, that just means that we have too much of an ego for our own race, and our favoritism for our own race is kind of dirty. I don't want to say disgusting, but it's kind of dirty. But, uh, yeah, no, like, straight up, though. And they wouldn't have to kill anybody if they just literally had every single animal species tagged and known. And then you just have them tagged and known ever since they come into this world. And then towards the end of their life, they'll be in a health situation. As always, there's always a health situation that brings their health down to an amount of life that they die in, right? Yeah. And I'm saying the ones that actually just genuinely die, or the ones that actually, like, just, you know, pass away from natural causes, eat those. And that way, no animal is immune, no animal is favored. It is literally just plain and simple. When it's their time to die naturally of their own accord of how they treated their body. Like for instance, if you treat your body like shit, there's only so much doctors can do to save you. But when your body finally gives out, portions of it will be de dedicated to feeding the planet. Whereas the other parts, that'll be it. the majority of the parts will be buried and and respectively handled how you would what would have wanted it. They're handling it for like say a rhinoceros. You obviously might not know how the rhinoceros would have wanted to be handled, so you would just follow the meta of how it's handled. I think the only problem with that would be the people that are selling this meat. Could potentially sell it as something that's not. 
Well, that's my point, though, is, like, it's going to be rather difficult to manage that, and that's why you have to literally, like, tag everyone and keep tabs on literally everyone. Like, a baby can't even be, like, like, it, for instance, like, it would be in a sense where it's, like, if you have a kid without filing for it first, you'd be in some massive trouble, especially if you kept it a secret. They'd be understanding if it just sort of like happened, or say the girl just didn't know. They'd be understanding, but it'd be a whole nother situation if you were keeping it a secret. Like they're somehow fourteen now, and they haven't been filed. No, they're like somehow they're, they're now nine months. Story. No, no, it's more like somehow they're now four to nine months old. You somehow did it get the hospital to register it for you when it was born and now you have a hundred thousand dollar fine well, we don't want to do that that would suck no no it wouldn't the hundred thousand dollars would come out of their life and it would go straight to the kid and making sure this does not happen again Maybe. But it would be in a sense where it would put it emphasis on planned childhood and it would put an emphasis on the fact that, hey, look, like, bro, they just want to know when your kid's born. And odds are they'll have it all handled for you when you get it born at a hospital. But that also means that you don't have to have it born in a the hospital. There's babies born anywhere. And yeah, there'll still be people out there living in bumfuck nowhere and having illegal happenings, but, oh well. Times keep moving forward. If you get left behind, it's no one's fault but your own. Yeah, but it's just a good thing that I'm not making, hey, look, let's just be grateful. Let's be grateful that I don't have to make any laws because you know for a fact I might make some really good ones, but they would be completely offset heavily from all the bad ones. I would With that law, they wouldn't get left behind if you made something in there to take care of people like the rednecks and the people that are in low budget areas. Like for instance, it would just be in the sense where it's like, it's also the really smart idea like Mr. B. Steven said, he thinks that the rich should pay more, so it would be arguably the same amount of money for them as it would be, for instance, so say one guy has a thousand dollars in his bank account and he pays $32 for a big McDonald's, okay? But then somebody else has $100,000. Now they have to pay $3,200 for a McDonald's meal. Whereas if they picked the healthy choice, it would have only been $320. The healthy choice for the guy would have been 50 bucks. And that's what Mr. Beast is trying to say, is like, they would just charge the rich more money to balance it out, so they're equally giving up as much as the poor does. And literally, yeah, that would limit it. That's a little that's like, wait, wait, no, no, no. That would literally fix the economic growth, and then on top of that, it would limit the rich to being like, okay, what can I do with my money? And then the rich would be like, either they don't really care about being rich anymore, or B, because all the fancy things they would want could be afforded by people who are low income. But then on top of that, they one of the biggest conclusions they would come to, if they came to it, is that they need a job that they care about. No, that they need to give money to the poor. They need to share their wealth with those who don't have to pay as much because that in turn will lower how much money they have to pay and in turn allows that person to have enough money to get by that sounds kind of annoying i, I enjoy being able to freely spend my money without having to verify it 
No, it wouldn't be like verifying. It would just be in the sense where it's like the government would cover all your costs and all the calculations would be handled at the register. Yeah, but you'd have to swipe for a fee or something to bring it to you. Otherwise, who's to say you're not a bum? Just give me up every really, box. It really, it, it really wouldn't be that bad. And I, bums still wouldn't be able to buy stuff, by the way. Still have to get a job. And still have to go and make money. But as soon as they make money, everything's affordable. Everything. Even a car. Within reason. I don't know, man. I just know people are more iffy than you. It's hard, but when it gets down to it, I could talk about change all the time, but when it really gets down to it, the change already occurred when this reality struck all of us and we became a part of it. That was the change, because the last reality, I can bet you 100,000 million of votes of my own doing, right? Making that many accounts, I would bet that amount of effort on this premise is that the last reality, if there was a last reality, it was completely fucking different with rules and structures and systems and everything. It's still kind of similar. It still had like people of a similar race on a planet with other races and they're all trying to trying to fucking struggle to get to Kalan, but they can't and blah 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 blah. Okay. So um, yeah, there'd still be differences, but it would still be rather different. So, like, yeah, I can think about changes all the time, but really, when it comes down to it, the only thing that's really going to change everything is when the reality changes. And if the reality isn't changing, then, nah, fuck it. Enjoy yourself. Just enjoy the fact that you're part of the reality, and you might not be able to change it, but you can change your outlook. Kind of thing. Yeah. But either way, I think it's in a pretty good spot where it is, I guess. I mean, at least the planet hasn't, like, went through the verse, worst versions of global warming yet. Yeah, that's for sure. And it's Mother's Day. Salute. Oh shit, there's Among Us mods? Oh shit. Yeah, that came out when it was still popular. It's still popular, dude. Toast just posted an Among Us game because oh, everybody shit. wanted to play Among Us and he's trying his best not to overdo it because he doesn't want to kill the game. Ooh. He doesn't want to kill the game popularity, but he's he so still wants to enjoy the game in the sense. Well, he's so good at it, but at what cost, though? Because, like, he would totally love to overdo it. But he doesn't want to disrespect his viewership and lose a portion of it. Why? Because he's so good at these three things. No, because if he overdoes it, it might not be as good content. Oh. It's like if you got too many episodes of a TV show, but they never came up with a new idea. Yeah. They get tired, so he's trying to give himself some pauses in between the moments to, like, be right. It's like when I don't do ranked. I'm trying to get myself inspired and have, under the right feeling, and then I do ranked. And then I chill out with it. It's why I don't play Minecraft all the time. It's not because of the viewers, though. It's for a different reason, but they're along the same lines. Of when you overdo something, you get tired of it, and it makes it really hard to come up with really fun, creative stuff. Because, like, for him, that fun, creative stuff is content for his viewers. For me, I'm kind of making content for viewers, but it's more focused on what I would love to see. Rather than what everyone else wants to see. Make sense? So yeah, and that's why I like making builds like the Frostfire Rallies build for Soraka. So that was something I wanted to see. Nobody let me ask for it. And I was like, okay. And it entertained the shit out of me to the point where I'm still using them. You go heal exhaust. And then roll in their faces as they try and kill me like I'm some squishy. It's like, nope, 
We focus the 3K HP Soraka instead of focusing the 800 HP ADC. That is now killing you. It's so fun. It's very fun. Very fun for me. There's a Shake Clone upload. Turkinator. Turkinator. What? Turkinator update? What the f I don't even know. My computer doesn't want to up fucking load correctly. Sheesh. Discord is still open. No, thank you. That should be closed right now. No wonder it's going slow. I left a message with that lady. She still hasn't gotten back to me. And guess what I found out today, too? Wait, what? I was supposed... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I showed up to this appointment, right? 419. I made a call on 419 to her. I don't know when my next appointment is. Call you up today and ask when you have to call me. I don't know wake up. Because she did say that you could do your appointment on the phone now. Yeah, and she knows that, like, usually when that happens, it means that uh, they're understanding with my walk situation, and then there's walk. Well, to get better. That's pretty hard. No, that's not that bad. I just heard about what Maya had to do. Maya, Maya just explained to me. You know when I'm singing part, uh, uh, the Miley Cyrus song, Party in the USA or something? Yeah. She talks about I hopped off the plane at LAX. I dream in my car again. Okay, so basically LAX is a really, really, really busy airport. Yeah. And you can't go or be there without being fucking crowded. Yeah, and then cool. she talked about these shutters you have to get on, and it has a limited amount of people who can be on it, but once you're on it, shuttle. yeah, shutter, or shuttle, whatever, so either it, was, it, it takes you to the parking lot, just yeah. to get to the parking lot, and then once you're at the parking lot, that's when you can call your Uber. But then get this, the Uber is $300, okay? I'm sure it's 100 or 200 at Columbus. 300 fucking dollars. No. So she said it's better if you take LAX and you're there at LAX. No. She's like, and you're getting to the parking lot? Instead of calling an Uber, just walk two miles to the Marriott. Uh, yeah. Way better. Way better to just do that. That's fair. It's that or three hundred plus dollars. That's fair. Who said that? Maya. Okay, that's pretty lit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, yep, yep, two miles, yep, no three hundred dollars, yep, walking. Yeah. Because with that three hundred dollars. I just walked at six point oh speed. I just went at <laughs> six point oh on a treadmill and got a mile done in 15 minutes. That would be 30 minutes of speed walking if I wanted to work out. Yeah, for most humans, five miles per hour is speed walking. I don't know. Five miles per hour is speed walking. If you walk a mile for five miles in one hour, no, that is surprising. Okay, I walked one mile at 15 minutes. So that means that if we times that by, so it's 15, so it would be one mile. So 15, 30, 45, 60. So I walked, if I would have kept going at the same rate I was at, mind you, I was sweating after 15 minutes, but if I kept going, I mean, once I get in my shape and I keep going, clearly, Four miles done in one hour. Right and I just literally kept going. I need a distraction. A hella good distraction. The only reason I know this is because I had the electric scooter that its motor would kick on if it was going five miles per hour. Holy shit, does that mean I was going I was going um four miles per hour? There? Yeah. You were going four miles per hour. I was still walking. I wasn't even running yet. Yeah, but you were fucking walking really fast, though. I was like, yeah. 
that's how fast you would have to kick the scooter off to make its electric drive start working. It was so fun. It was so fun, but so sweaty. I hated sweating so much, but it was it was so fun. That sounds fun. Either way, um, see you guys. See you, bye.